First, I'm going to be making my way through a lab. Then, I will be going and exploring Barcool. After that, I'm going to another cathedral here in Barcelona, Spain. So, welcome back to Tamara's Travels. I'm about to enter the lab room. And I'm here with my friend Rachel, and we are going to race to see who can figure out the lab room first, without running. Bye-bye. And we're off. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys, um, but I'm trying to do a fast power walk so I can beat my friend Rachel. I just saw Rachel through the fence. <laughs> so although these trees are kind of thin in certain places, they do have chicken fencing in between the the um, shrubs so that you can't just cut through it. So that's cool. You can't cheat to get to the center in the labyrinth. Pardon? Thanks so much for watching Tamara's Travels. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below. I am so excited, guys. I am almost to 100 subscribers, and I cannot talk today. <laughs>faster. I don't want Rachel to beat me. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. Oh, I really want to beat Rachel though. I like winning. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> and of course Rachel already beat me there. That was a fun lap. We're done the labyrinth, we're here walking around the rest of the park, which has some really nice gardens. Interesting statue. There's the labyrinth we just finished. So I'm not sure exactly what this lady's doing, but it looks like she's doing restoration on this statue. It's pretty cool to watch her work. tell whether she's doing restoration or whether she's actually carving it. So you will find musicians everywhere looking for a dollar or a euro in this case. This is part of Park Ghoul. Basically like the underbelly. I'm now a huge fan of Gaudi. Gaudi is the one who designed Park Ghoul, and during the time period, they actually said that a lot of people thought that it was ugly, and they didn't know what to make of Gaudi. And now, of course, he's one of the greatest artists ever to have lived. The other nice thing about this part of the park is that it's really cool because of the stones. And it gets pretty hot in Barcelona. They're such interesting shapes, but I love those benches. Look at the Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo! Where are you, Romeo? Hey guys! Selfie pose! Alright, I'm done playing. This is a really cool fence. 
I love how it's like natural versus classical with the bricks and the rocks. Looks almost like a hobbit entrance. It's a cool house though. I wonder who lives there at the top of the park. It's such a cool place though, it like overlooks the entire city. And here we are at our last stop for today guys, and it is another cathedral. I think that's one thing I really enjoy about Europe compared to America is you get such old history there. It's centuries old and it just has this different feel. It's just amazing what they were able to do without computers and, and all the technology we have today. Next time on Tamer's Travels where I am still in Barcelona, and it'll be my final video in Barcelona, at least for vlogs. I might do a top 10 of the top 10 things I enjoyed in Barcelona. If you want to see that video, comment below. Otherwise, I will see you all in, where am I going next? Italy.